Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Last time, we got a quest to find a horse for our wagon. So, let's see if we can find one. Heard a rumor about one to the west, so let's take a look. Who's there? Is someone coming? Oh, hey! How's it going, Carver? Oh, you're welcome. You here to suck up to me now? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Sure, why not? If you just say no, he joins you without your permission anyway. So, <laughs> but all right. More party members. Carver's one of my uh, favorite characters in the game, if you couldn't tell from the avatar I'm using for this LP. But all right. <laughs> Uh, he's a lo he's the lovable dumbass of the game. And he has really good strength. He's basically like a tank, really. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, even though we're complete newbies. But, okay. Well, Alright, let's go. Yeah, now that we got Carver in the party, press the B button. You could do it on the world map or in a town. You could get some party talk dialogue. Just like... The last game. Here we got a new enemy, Lips. Let's see, these guys can potentially use Tongue Lashing, which can stun your one of your party members for a round. But if you just kill them, then they can't do that. So, hooray! Game? I was one step away from the sign. Okay. A yeah, piece of party talk dialogue that I didn't get. Uh, there's another thing that Carver could say. Where he's like, yeah, I don't think you can handle this one alone, Rex. I think you're going to need some more muscle. Like, uh, he says something like, my bu left bicep probably weighs as much as you do. And he's probably right about that. Man, how many steroids is this guy taking? Holy cow. But yeah, he's basically, I mean, he does get some MP. But he's basically going to be like a pure DPS or tank character. Not really good at magic. I mean, you could teach it to him, but his base stats don't really help with that. So, eventually I will have uh, Carver take the lead in the party. But not right now, because he doesn't quite have the HP yet. Or the equipment. I will be getting some equipment for him soon. But I wanted to take care of this first. Haha! -ha! Alright, got her into the dead end. So yeah, basically in order to wrangle the horse, you run around in circles until Car Carver splits up with you, and then you trap it in the dead end here. And voila! We got a horse. Of course. Wow, oh, she seemed pretty strong to me. Aww. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, okay, sure. Is that like a reference to something that I just don't know? I don't know. Alright! Well, not really more party members, but... Yeah. But alright! We got, we got a horse now! Sort of more party members, I guess. Yeah, she's just going to be kind of hanging around for a while. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. So I'm just going to use a Chimera Wing to get back to Somnia there. We are going to learn a new spell for Rex, uh, Zoom, that basically does the same thing as Chimera Wings, except they cost one MP. So it's really, really cheap and easy way to uh, get around. But now that we got Carver, I want to get some new armor. So let's get a scale armor for him, because we're not going to find anything like that. We are going to find a better... Uh, what is it? Uh, she... Well, a... No, wait, he already has a shield. We are going to find a better shield for him, and some headgear soon, and a weapon. So I'm not going to bother getting any of those. But uh, I would like to give him the club that I put away in storage for a little bit. And I'm going to use some seeds on him, too. 
So I'm going to give him, let's see, which ones do I got? Uh, strength seeds, I want to give those to Carver because he's basically only going to be doing physical attacks for the whole game, practically. So, And I want to give him some resilience seeds because even though he's got a lot of HP and he's a tank type character, he doesn't have quite the, as much resilience as I would like. Which basically increases your defense point for point. So, yeah, I want to uh, give him those so he can tank a little better. Not that I'm really going to be tanking that much, but he is going to be in the lead of the party. And, well, party members that are towards the front of the party will take more hits than ones in the back. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do want to bring uh, the horse in there. I wonder what happens if I bring it up to the second floor. Huh, I'm surprised she could come upstairs. Oh, well, yeah, we gotta bring it to him. So, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Seems like a good horse to me. Horse of a different color. But anyway, yeah, got the horse for you. I don't know what we're going to need to put in the wagon there, but, well, we have it now. Spoiler alert, we're going to be getting more party members, and you can throw them in the wagon. Hmm? Well, what do you mean that won't be necessary? Hey. Uh, sure, whatever you say. I mean, you weren't watching us or anything, but, okay. Hey, all right. Got him on the payroll now. Well, he probably already was, but now it's official. What has he done that's, like, so terrible? I mean, people say, oh, yeah, he was murdering people or whatever, or he's been attacking and or anything, and, like, we had this one bad dream and that's it. I mean, where is he? Well, let's find out. He just kind of seems to be sitting around, not doing a whole lot. Oh well, it does take the plot a little while to really get going, but even then, early on, I find it entertaining enough, especially with Carver around. By the way, as far as party talk dialogue goes, I'm not going to do that for every single NPC, for every single line. That would take too long. I'll try to limit it to like important NPCs or areas just that just have very few people to talk to anyway. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, Carver's already shaved part of his head, apparently. Normally I'm not a fan of the Mohawk look, but on Carver, it looks pretty good. Kinda reminds me of Greek in a way. It's Lagerwasser time. What do you mean none of you watched that LP? Eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, we did kind of see that in the dream there. Or nightmare, more like it, but yeah. Okay, well, just like all good Dragon Quest games, we have to have a uh, Mirror of Ra to find, or Ra's Mirror, or however you want to call it. Ra's al Ghul? No. No, not in this game. I like him, though. Oh, well. Good start, so far. Yeah, no pressure! We're only putting the fate of the entire world on your shoulders. Even though you guys are just rookies. But, okay. Okay, maybe not the entire world. But, I mean, at least the known world, or the whole kingdom. Good enough. Naughty kitty. Oh, okay. Nothing here then. Huh, whoop. I wanted to go to the dresser there because get a silver tiara. Neither of my party members can equip that right now, but I do want to save it for later because it's pretty good. It's a pretty good headgear 
for ladies, not just on defense for now, but it also has a pretty good style stat that can be useful later on in the game for a side quest. So you want to hold on to that for a while. Hey, hey, all right. Do the best I can. Oh, yeah, it does seem a bit young. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm always doing that. I didn't bring the horse up here. Probably couldn't have gone up all those stairs. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you uh, explored a little more, there would have been, like, checkpoints and such that the guards wouldn't let you go through because of an invisible plat wall. But now we can go through at least one of them now. So, all right. I wonder what's on the other side. Yeah, let's find out. Let's uh, pick up our wagon and get going. Hit the road. Oh, oh, okay, I thought we had to come back here. Well, as long as we are here, we might as well take the nearby exit. Oh, Maybe you should have made a lighter wagon or something. Well, anyway, okay, so we got that taken care of. Well, we're moving northeast in the world, not straight north, but close enough. See if we can get some clues to that mirror. Game? Why do I always get into random battles, like, one step away from my destination? Oh. Well, thank you. I wonder what is beyond here, anyway. Ah, huh? well, now you can! How hard could they possibly be? Answer! Yeah, they are a bit hard. Oh, well, it sounds like a good place to go. Or start, at least. Okay, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Such a goofball. Kind of reminds me of uh, Garibaldi and... Uh, Babylon 5 a little bit, but... Alright, so, we got a couple new enemies here. We got the, uh, Bubble Slimes on the right there, who, just like every other Dragon Quest game, yeah, they can poison you, but just like that. And we got a new enemy there, a Barksman, who can shoot arrows at you for a bit more than normal damage. They can also, uh, call for backup, more Barksmen, I would assume, but all right, level eight, we learned Zoom. So now we can teleport to any town we've been to so far. And we get a new ability, Flying Me. Oh, that is one thing about Dragon Quest VI compared to previous games. Not everything... Uh, what is it? Yeah, not everything, or every skill you learn, costs MP. In this case, Flying Me costs zero MP, and it deals 50% more damage to flying enemies. Like the Barksman we met up with. Now, these guys... Let's see, these guys are also new. They, well, as you can see, they can cast Snooze on your party. And they can use Medicinal Herbs to heal themselves up. So, fortunately, I was able to wake up relatively quickly. Oh, and by the way, I didn't cure the poison from Rex. Because, well, as they were saying, there's a church over here. And they can cure it for us. So, I'd rather not burn the uh, antidote herbs if I don't have to. So, but, all right, well, it was a little bit of a close call there, but, uh, we survived there. Oh, I didn't mean to heal Carver again, but, yeah, I just wanted to heal a little bit there. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, let's see if, uh, these guys can help us out. Yeah, also, uh, getting purification or detoxification or whatever, usually it costs less than actually buying the antidote herb. So that's another reason why I wanted to wait here. So you're just gonna pray to get rid of the poison? No medicine or anything remotely useful? Oh, that did work. Well, uh, good for 
me. All right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, we could start taking a look, at least. How, how hard could it possibly be to find it? I mean, if the mirror is that special. Merchandising. Hmm. I wonder if he knows anything about the mirror. Well, keep that in mind. But anyway, let's uh, loot the whole place. Get some holy water. It eliminates random encounters from... Well, that are sufficiently weaker than you are. But, yeah, we could rest up here for free, at least, so, all right. One thing about the holy water, my understanding... Oh, we got a pretty Betsy that I want to use on Rex there. But, yeah, my understanding is that each area in the game has a level cap associated with it. And if you exceed that number, then holy water will... Uh, what is it? Well, will prevent you from getting in any random encounters in that area. It's not like a level cap, though, for, like, you, you'll stop gaining experience there. No, no. But uh, I will go over what that ex means exactly uh, when it becomes relevant later in the game. But will the crotchety dwarf to the south give us any clues about the Mirror of Ra? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.